to get the free notes of electrical circuits check the link in the comment section and install the app for free nodal analysis question find the value of current i here in this circuit we have to find the value of current i by using nodal analysis solution first of all let's copy this circuit from here now let's say this is node 1 with voltage v1 and let's say this is node 2 with voltage v2 and this is the reference node with zero voltage now let's apply kcl at node v1 before that let's assume this is current i and this is current let's say this is current i1 and this is current i2 now apply kcl at node v1 according to kcl that is kirchhoff's current law summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node now here the entering current is at this node here we can see the entering current is this 6 ampere so 6 ampere is equal to leaving currents are i1 i and 3 ampere so it will be i1 then plus i then plus this 3 ampere these are the leaving current from this node now here we can write if we take this 3 on this side so it will be 6 minus 3 so 6 minus 3 that means it is 3 is equal to i1 i1 plus i now we can write this let's write i1 here i1 plus i is equal to 3 now we will convert this i1 in voltage form so it will be v1 minus v2 v1 minus v2 divided by the value of resistance is 4 ohm plus current i so it will be v1 minus 0 divided by 8 v1 minus 0 divided by 8 is equal to 3 now let's simplify this further so it will be v1 v1 by 4 minus v2 divided by 4 then plus v1 divided by 8 is equal to 3 now if we take this v1 common from here so it will be v1 in bracket 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 so it is 0 0.375 then plus v2 it will be minus 1 by minus 1 by 4 it is 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 is equal to 3 let's say this is equation number 1 now next we will apply kcl at node v2 so let's apply KCL KCL at node at node V2 now according to KCL again summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node now here we can see the entering currents are this I1 plus 3 so I1 plus 3 is equal to leaving current here the leaving current is only i2 so it will be i2 now this i1 in voltage form will be v1 minus v2 divided by 4 v1 minus v2 divided by 4 then plus 3 is equal to v1 minus v2 divided by 4 then plus 3 is equal to i2 now this i2 will be v2 minus 0 divided by 6 v2 minus 0 divided by 6 now let's simplify this so it will be v1 divided by 4 minus v2 divided by 4 
then plus 3 if we take this on left side so it will be minus v2 divided by 6 is equal to 0 now here we can take this v1 common so v1 in bracket this will be 0 0.25 then if we take this v2 common so it will be minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 then minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 6 so it is minus 5 by 12 minus 5 by 12 and if we take this 3 on right side so it will be minus 3 let's say this is equation number 2 now we got two equations now we if we solve these equations solving equation 1 and 2 we get v1 is equal to and v2 is equal to so let's put this in calculator mode 5 then 1 so it will be 0 0.375 0 0.375 then here this will be minus 0 0.25 then constant is 3 then from equation 2 it will be 0 0.25 0 0.25 then minus 5 divided by 12 minus 3 so this is the value of v1 it is 21.33 21.33 volt is the value of V1 and then the value of V2 it is 20 now we got the value of V1 and V2 what we have to find in this question its unit will be volt again what we have to find in this question we have to find the value of current I so we have to find this current I and I is equal to here we can write I is equal to v1 minus 0 divided by 8 v1 minus 0 divided by 8 the value of v1 is 21.33 divided by 8 so it will be 21.33 divided by 8 so it is 2.66 2.66 ampere is the value of current i 2.66 ampere To get the free notes of electrical circuits, check the link in the comment section and install the app for free. Also, if you want the electrical engineering dictionary app, check the link in the comment section.